Hi, welcome to a new episode. In this one we are going to take apart and uh, test in real life situations a uh, Makita battery. Uh, I brought it uh, today from an Estonian seller and he confirmed to me that uh, he has more from the same uh, 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 how do you say it? From the same uh, producer, and let's head in and take this one apart and give a in-depth review on it. This one. So, stay tuned and let's have some dismantling. Now, before you're starting to cry that I support the. Uh, uh, production of uh, rebranded or fake Makita batteries then here are a couple of my 5 amp batteries all are uh, valid legit Makita ones but uh, I can call this a fake battery because uh, Makita doesn't produce uh, 9 amp batteries so we can't say it's fake or a replica uh, I would say it's a niche that Makita hasn't yet uh, acquired. Uh, if they start producing 9 amp batteries, then we can say it's, this is a replica or fake. The only part that we can say is uh, fake is that or replica is the uh, design and how it uh, goes into the Makita board. But now let's take a closer look. Uh, what can I see? Uh, the stars are the same. Uh, do we have the plastic? Uh, is it fiber reinforced or not? Uh, feels like... Yeah, first impression is that the plastic is much softer, so it's there are no signs here that it is reinforced. Uh, the weight, let's check it if I have a scale that can measure it. It's not the most accurate one, but we can see the first impression. Uh, I need to put some weight on the... Okay. No. Okay. Two point seven. Come on, scale work. Okay, two point seven. So the battery weighs around 900 grams compared to, let's see how much this weighs, 2.5. So it's around 400 grams more than this battery. This is for, this is good. Uh, one nice feature that I already saw is if you touch this light, it just fades away instantly. But with this battery, you touch it and the light goes like, mm. this is a nice feature, I really like this one. Now on the top part, uh, seems nice. 
some marks missing here. Here are missing marks. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, ah, yeah, okay. N not so bad. Okay. Uh, the original Makita battery has holes also uh, at the bottom. Those are not for anything. Uh, those are really useful because uh, those are for cooling. If you use a uh, heavy duty uh, tool, uh, this will take air in and it will uh, uh, take air. Uh, this will be out and this will be in, 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 and in. On the fake battery, uh, not fake, uh, the not genuine battery, we have air in here and here. None holes are on here. But let's see on the, this part. We have 18 volts, uh, 5 amps, and 90 watt hours. Uh, here we only have 9 amps. Uh, what else? Okay, this looks nice. Okay, Let's check the voltage first. Uh, I haven't charged it, it's straight out of the box. Mm -hmm. uh, this should go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is not good. Uh, let's see if I can put this on this way so it's visible. Uh, this isn't good uh, for your tools. The original uh, battery shows us a voltage of 18.6 volts. That's really good. Not the best. This one. 19. Is this battery dead? No. 20 volts. Okay. Ah, okay. This one. 18.1 so it's a little bit not always 18 but this one shows us 20.5 so I think if I fully charge it it will be 21 volts so it's not the best for your tool but it's not really that bad but now let's take it apart and see what's inside. Okay, uh, one thing that I noticed uh, the Torx uh, 10 screws aren't uh, like the original, they are the common screws, so that's good because I have to get the other screwdriver that has a hole in here to unmount, uh, dismount uh, the original batteries. Ah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Some springs. Okay, now we got it open. Oh, tiny little port. That was expected. Okay, what can I see? The choice are nicely soldiered. Mm. The lead wires are nice and thick. Uh, this should be the overheating protection. It should be inside the cells, not here. But this isn't that bad. Join it. 
the soldering is quite nice. Okay, what can we see say about the cells? Mm. I don't want to short circuit this baby. So, oh, nice. We have a lot of cells. That's good. The cells seem like they are Are they refurbished or not? Okay. From who's the manufacturer? Let's check it. Uh, ICR 18650HI4. Who is. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, those are really good cells. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but. Uh, uh, it says that those are LG cells. Uh, the numbers match what it's supposed to be an LG cell, but uh, the warning sign isn't like on the LG. Uh, let's Google if those cells, maybe they have some other ones? No. Nope. This doesn't look like the original LG cells, but they could be. The color is correct. Uh, the serial number is correct. Uh, but on the downside, what does this... Uh, a S one five zero three zero. I get the number from anywhere else. Okay, we can get the number from here. Uh, three zero six AA minus. Mm, no, it's not just the manufacturing number. Okay, now on for the this part. Four, 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 four. Okay, this is nice. All the cells have uh, four uh, spot welding spots. Uh, I can see from here that they welded this on stronger. This is good. Uh, okay, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, it looks really good because almost all the cells are welded uh, with a spot welder with four spots, but this cell is welded with two spots and this also with two spots. So the welding is quite okay. Nice that they have plastic or paper. Yeah, this is paper. This is okay. Okay, 
what can I see um, downside? We have a chip, control chip here. And currently, the only downside that I can see on this battery. No, I have more uh, concerns. Uh, what my current concerns are, mm, the battery seems like, uh, the cell seems like it should be an LG uh, cell, but the uh, way it's designed, it's not like the official one. So it might be uh, a rebranding of old cells. The cells are quite good. Uh, oh, totally forgot how much amperage those two cells fit. HI. HI. Those were. Those are. Two thousand five hundred milliamps. So, I'll, okay. How are the? So, okay. Uh, I need to use Excel for a bit. So we will be back in a couple of seconds. <clears throat> so I did a little bit of uh, calculating and the measuring. And what I found out is that uh, we have three cells in row and in five stacks. So, and for the batteries, uh, as much as I could find and test, then uh, those are LG cells. This is good. Uh, the cell number and uh, the cell uh, voltage and everything else doesn't uh, match the numbers uh, on the sticker. Uh, by my best guess is that those are LZ D1 or E1 cells, and those are refurbished and marketed as a different cell, a lower end cell, uh, because it's refurbished. Uh, that's my idea. Uh, the cell itself is 4.1 volts and it's uh, uh, not 9 amps but uh, 9.2 amps is uh, this battery. So it's really good. Uh, the 7.5 uh, amps are, if they are from the sticker, they are 7.5. But I think this uh, configuration and those cells meet up the 9.2 uh, amps so it's a goddamn good battery back uh, yeah I think I'm going to order more of those uh, it's I would say a really good back the charging and this charging board is, isn't the best it's the cheapest model I think uh, yeah, the soldiering, soldiering is quite nice, it's true and true. Uh, yeah, the batteries are excellent. Uh, they will hold up much more than I hoped. Uh, but we will see in a, a real life test. On th this now for the build quality. Uh, yeah, it's cheap plastic. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! This is bad. 
uh, there are no holes on the bottom so if water gets into this batter back even moisture it doesn't get out so if you buy this product it's an PL19 uh, uh, the stickers don't matter but if you buy this one and you don't have holes on the bottom uh, I think the molds are from all the from the same factory take a knife put one hole on the bottom or if you can drill some tiny holes on the bottom this will increase your battery life exponentially because uh, if water gets in the first uh, level well the water will be trained is around here so it will search circuit uh, all the batteries that this is bad uh, this small modification I need to do because uh, it's not safe uh, I work uh, in humid com conditions uh, sometimes in rain in snow and uh, think of this part the inside is hot the outside is cold moisture will build up inside here and it doesn't train so this is bad this is really bad this is bad battery is excellent the board okay we have some protection but yeah but no drainage that's bad that's bad so even if you buy it the price is good it's 9.2 9 amps maybe uh, but no drainage so I need to drill here uh, let me check uh, the most safest uh, spot to drill for yourself is uh, what could it be yeah I would recommend pie a uh, screwdriver t t10 and uh, take it apart drill four holes in each corner and uh, this will help you a lot I will do it uh, before even I start to test this uh, out, I'm going to put the holes down. Now, uh, what else can I say? Uh, any more impressions? Something else I wanted to tell you about battery pack. No, that seems everything. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, I don't see any uh, cushioning uh, parts, so as you can see, the battery goes back in and it wobbles. This isn't good. So I'm going to put some. Uh, Put some uh, cushioning pads in. Uh, maybe I'll do. Uh, yeah, a good point. I'll do all the modifications, and everything needs to be done to this battery back to make it more safer and uh, to give it a more, uh, longer life because a wobbling battery inside. It <laughs> isn't good because all the joints get uh, the soldier gets uh, some heavy duty and if it's fall down it will likely break your battery so uh, I'll get tools and I'll so show you how to modify this battery but for home use for 75 euros <laughs> it's an amazing deal but uh, we will uh, test it in a real life situation, but now I'll get the tools and modify the battery back. Now for the small modifications. First, first, that's three. Oh, nice.
just four holes. And that's enough. This is enough for the water extrusion. Now for some double sided uh, tape, one on the bottom. And do we need on the side also? Let's put one on the side, a two on the sides, because it's a loose fit. Oh, no, I thought this was padding, but nope. Now, let's check this out. Now, oh, okay. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah now it doesn't come out anymore. This is why it's important. On this side also, and on the other side also, some double sided. Now, so we have tape on the bottom on each side, and I think that's enough to keep it in one spot. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't want to go in. I hate to touch batteries this way. This is how a battery pack should be, non-wobbly, stays in one place. Do I need to pat this also? Nope, this doesn't need to be padded, maybe. Ah, I'll put on the top side also. Put one here. And... Mm, put this way. I can put it here, so... i just add one here. So... This is going to be forced on this, and this should be good. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, I already thought that I lost the spring. much better as you can see it's now a little bit off so if I push it down it will have force on the tape and this will give me a better experience in the long term it's a cheap modification but this will help 
you a lot in the long term. Not to over tighten those screws. Oh, <laughs> the most important part that I forgot to test. Do the Makita tools uh, take this as okay? <laughs> For the real life test. What's the RPM? It has much more power. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good battery pack. The charging unit isn't the best, but and a little bit of modifications to it. But this feels good. Now it doesn't, the batteries don't go around inside. Do we have anything else from this side? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Now for the real life test, but first I have to charge them full. And we can only compare to 5 amps and all our use, so it will beat those Makita original batteries, but uh, in how much is that second question, but yeah, for heavy duty uh, work, those batteries are nice. Uh, one other thing that I want to point out that uh, this battery will uh, degrade over time but if it works it will work till the end uh, those batteries uh, if the battery life is too low uh, the charger will tell you that it won't uh, do the job anymore but those will just uh, uh, over time uh, to create but they will work now off to the building the test benches and everything else do we have anything else in the box yes we have safety uh, care uh, for sure ignition line battery is not requested uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, third sentence means that uh, the board is always always connected to the battery, so it will drain uh, the voltage uh, and amps over time. Uh, but that's not bad. That's okay. Everything that's connected trains batteries. Uh huh. Uh, I would say that this uh, battery safety guide is really good. It's it's really good. I can't say anything bad about this. So, now to build the testing bench and to test this battery out. So, what can I tell you about? I look at the, at the board in depth on the uh, Chinese uh, battery and there are two problems. First, I couldn't find a fuse for the 
short circuit uh, thing because if you short circuit this and this one uh, the battery will uh, overheat and it will fail the batteries and it may be hazardous as it may uh, burn up in flames but uh, the chances are quite minimal for this to happen uh, the highest reason is uh, water uh, tools not so common to get them to meet in the both uh, positive and negative sides but yeah this is the baddest part the second one is that uh, uh, this board doesn't have a, uh, how do you, balancing uh, uh, side on it so over time those batteries will be out of sync and this will mean that the average battery life is one third of the uh, real one uh, so keep in mind if you buy this uh, those batteries have a balancing board this doesn't have it this is the biggest uh, problem with this uh, cheaper board uh, I hope that if I give the feedback and the right board, they will switch it up and this will make those batteries, oh my god, really good. If they add the balancing and the uh, short circuit uh, board in this one, it's as good as it can get to near the original one. But yeah, now for the first uh, test, uh, I will be making like uh, maybe... 10 to 12 tests uh, because uh, my original batteries the newest one is uh, 1.5 years old and as you can see it has seen some days and it's not quite fair but uh, but that's the best I can do uh, this is uh, new uh, 9 amps this is 1.5 years old and 5 amps uh, this runs on 18 volts this runs on 21 volts uh, this means the RPM is uh, higher and it also means that the uh, tool uh, will run out sooner as compared to this, but it has more amps, so let's see what happens. One extra modification that I wanted to show you is uh, as the board isn't uh, waterproofed. Uh, if any moisture gets between any of those components it will fry the board so this board is live as you can see and the best way to waterproof and the uh, easiest and simplest and most cost effective is to use uh, uh, clear it's important clear nail polish so Let's see how I do it. Just rise it up. And just put everywhere where you can. I thought long about this if I should show you this or not as I didn't know if it's a do-it-yourself project or more complicated but at the end I thought it's easy easy to show you because uh, this modification is really easy uh, it's important to get every chip on the board covered with clear. Uh, why clear? Because uh, clear nail polish doesn't uh, conduct electricity. So this will give me a little bit more of a protection when I I'm going to use this battery outside and inside and in wet conditions and not so for me it's important and the bottom part is done now let's screw it back in The 
in the right spot? Nope. Come on. Ah, now it's back in. Yep. Yep. And now on the top part. Uh, the original boards that come with Makita, I'll show you in a couple of seconds, are all done. Not with nail polish, but uh, I wanted to do something that you can uh, do it by yourself and at home. Now. And done. That's it. Now the board is more waterproof resistant and it works. What I really wanted to show you, I went and uh, uh, through my inventory and uh, this is a similar board to this one. Uh, let's see, I haven't looked. Yeah, it looks identical but uh, it might be an older version or not no it seems same so I don't have to show you this one this is an uh, board they use uh, commonly in the batteries for comparison this is an original Makita board from an uh, old uh, battery and as you can see this is what the copy uh, they copied uh, as you can see there are lots of more of electronics and uh, things. This board has uh, uh, also the balancing on it but I don't have that part. If you look on the downside this is the original board and this is the Chinese board. So here you can see it's much more complicated than this one. Uh, this is a broken board but I just wanted to show you. So, now to take the final notes and I'll wrap it all up for you all. Hey, I just wanted to show why waterproofing is so important. Uh, this is a Makita battery and this is the conditions I have to work in. So, as you can see... Oh, come on... This is why waterproofing is important for me and that's why uh, the original batteries are safer because they have... Uh, uh, one second, I pull my scarf down. Uh, because they have holes on the bottom as I told you and those will uh, let uh, condense uh, uh, water out that uh, when the battery works uh, yeah it's quite cold but yeah uh, that's why uh, those batteries uh, currently are only meant for inside jobs or if you don't go outside and do work like this uh, I wanted to just uh, show you so now off to testing. Now let's talk a bit uh, on the pros and cons on uh, <coughs> the uh, battery. I wanted to do just a simple uh, way of uh, putting down pros and cons, but it's not so easy. The pros on the cells are, uh, or the battery are good cells, really good price. Uh, the bad part is uh, not the not so good uh, PCB, <laughs> I could say bad PCB really. And the housing isn't that good also because the housing uh, itself doesn't have uh, any holes and it's just made from uh, common uh, plastic. But now let's head on for a little bit more in-depth numbers 
and here you can see uh, real world tests and they are each made uh, five times in a row. You can pause the video to look at them uh, more in depth but I'm not going to talk uh, over on those tests. They are all average numbers and remember one thing this is a 9 amp battery and the only thing I can p compare it to is a uh, 5 amp uh, Makita original battery. Makita doesn't produce a 9 amp battery so those tests aren't really like the, you would test uh, the same item versus the same item. Those are totally two different items and this is one point to remember if you look at those numbers but it will give you a good uh, estimation what you can get uh, from this battery back. So now pause the video and look at the numbers if you want or just go on and skip to the next part. Now for a more in-depth uh, view of the, each uh, thing. The cells are LG cells measured at uh, 9.06 uh, uh, amps. That's really good. The sp uh, spot welding uh, is acceptable. Why acceptable is because all the welds on the battery uh, cell pack are four uh, tuts. But the main uh, things where you connect the battery cell back to the PCB is uh, spot welded with two spots on each side. I would have loved to see there also two extra spots of weld and I hope they fix uh, it in the iteration number two. The housing itself is uh, common um, uh, plastic, it's not uh, as good as the Makita one but it's acceptable. Uh, there are uh, some missing holes at the bottom. Those are really important if you want to work outside in cold cli uh, climate or uh, in weather conditions. Uh, and the battery pack isn't secured so it cannot sustain uh, heavy hits from uh, high, uh, higher or any uh, impacts. So I don't want to mess this battery pack up. up so I am not going to do the tests on the fall and so on. Now for the worst thing in this uh, battery pack is the PCB. <coughs> the main problem uh, is that it does not have a fuse. The fuse is important when you use uh, let's say uh, work in rainy conditions or in snow and you get snow uh, between the uh, uh, minus and positive side of the uh, PCB and <laughs> you search circuit the board it will just fry and that's why a fuse is important. S second there is no cell balancing so over time the battery will degrade faster and faster. Uh, in the manual that was provided in the uh, box they said that you have to charge the battery at one uh, light uh, when one light is lighted up. If uh, I uh, go into the calculations and if I test and measure the pack it's okay but uh, in real world you're not going to look at the light that oh my god one light up I need to charge you're just going to use it until the very end and that's why the pack will degrade faster and faster over time uh, the next <coughs> thing is the same uh, there's no uh, cutoff voltage or I told you about that or, yeah I told you about that uh, next uh, on the line is uh, cell numbers uh, the cell numbers don't fit with the battery pack itself. Uh, I think that those batteries are refurbished uh, uh, from a higher grade battery uh, from LG and that's why the cell numbers don't match. Uh, if I would go only with the cell numbers then the battery pack would be 7.5 amps but it isn't. Uh, it isn't from any calculations or any measurement that I did. Uh, on the waterproofing, yeah. Uh, no holes at the bottom, no way water can get out and that's one uh, way to fry your pack. Now for the uh, positives, the cells are LG gel cells, uh, they are really good and uh, the PCB soldiering overall is really great. So in that, keeping that uh, in mind. 
and for the final conclusion it's a good value back uh, you can get a really great performance from it but uh, remember those things this I recommend if you buy this pack this is good for indoor use or in uh, sunny uh, days and nights uh, but not in rain or in humid really humid co conditions as uh, it needs a little bit work uh, in the video I showed you some modifications that you can do uh, by yourself at home with uh, minimum efforts and those modifications will help you to work in humid and in wet conditions overall I'm really happy with this pack and the seller told me that uh, he will uh, uh, talk to the factory in China and they will fix the things that I brought up they will put in a better PCB uh, do some modifications and hopefully when uh, iteration uh, 2 arrives I will take a sneak peek at it oh, uh, of course I will buy this battery even if it's uh, higher priced but yeah I'm happy with this battery back it's 9 amps and that's what mattered for me uh, I know that I have some limitations using it, but for my heavy load and works, uh, this is really a uh, good uh, price per uh, amp uh, battery pack. So, thank you, and if you have any comments uh, or want to know anything more, just leave me a note in the comments and I will tell you anything I can and know. If you wa want to buy this battery pack, you can uh, contact the seller uh, via Facebook and eBay. Uh, I'll link the details in the uh, description uh, uh, information uh, box. And uh, one more thing. Not each battery pack on the market is the same. Each factory produces different battery packs. So be aware, if you buy a battery pack and don't get the same results, don't blame me. Always buy from a verified use, uh, seller. So that's why I recommend if you want to buy a 9 amp battery pack, that's 9 amps. And are willing to do some modifications to get it uh, on a better status for yourself, then look uh, him up and buy the battery pack from him. Thank you and uh, till next time.